Hello everybody, what's going on? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, but if not, fear not, this video will be sure to cheer you up because I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my Disney Cars canceled releases. Believe it or not, Mattel has actually canceled around 100 different cars over the past 13 years, whether it be a special edition, a launcher, or just a regular new character. They've done it so many times, it's absolutely ridiculous and kind of sad too because a lot of them are actually really, really cool. And for some, I take them any day over the cars that actually got released. And really there's no rhyme or reason as to you know how they choose okay we're gonna release you but we're gonna cancel that one so i mean we'll kind of get into that a little bit later as to how they do choose that but it is pretty random to be completely honest but i will put the entire list composed by myself of every canceled car that we know of in the description below and i guarantee you that if you check it out, there will be one that you've never heard of. I mean, there's a ton on there, and even now, like, I'm still kind of discovering some new ones. I mean, just last month, I found a new one via old pictures, so, I mean, it's an ever-evolving hobby, ever-evolving kind of thing here with these canceled releases. I've been fortunate enough to get my hands on about 35 of them. I'm not entirely sure the number, but we're going to count as we go through here, and I thought it'd just be something fun to do to appreciate these cars. I don't mean to show off or anything like that, but a lot of people have been asking me to do a video on all of my canceled cars. I usually get them on eBay or from fellow collectors who are selling their collection that I find on Facebook or something along those lines. You just really have to know what to search for. I mean, I scavenge the depths of eBay sometimes to find some of these. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's definitely worth it to me. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, but we're gonna dive right in. I am so excited. Every year, more and more cars get canceled. It's just something that happens and it doesn't necessarily reflect the state of the car's line. I mean, in 2010, it was flourishing, but that was also the year that they canceled the most ever in one year. It's just something that happens when a new movie comes along, like Cars 2. That was in 2011, so all those cars that were at the end of the 2010 final lap line, they got cut just because they wanted to move on to Cars 2. Same thing happened in early 2017, which I think was kind of a big mess up overall because they started like a whole new main line just to cancel it in a couple months for Cars 3. And man, they canceled a ton. 2017 and 2010 were the biggest year for canceled cars. I mean, 2010, you had all those haulers. 2017, you had all those different cars from the series, like Mather Gets Knighted. You guys know, check out the list if you don't. But we're gonna go year by year to give this video a sense of organization. 2009 was the first year, at least that, I think, yeah, 2009 was the first year where they really canceled something that we know of, and it's the first year that I have something that was canceled. So in the 2009 collector guide that features, of course, Lightning McQueen with night vision goggles, there were quite a few canceled cars for this year, but not like a ton. And the N2O Cola Pity is actually in this booklet. As number 92, he was supposed to come out in the Racerama series there. Now, surprisingly, number 96, Vitaline, he actually got released. 105 Mood Springs, he got cut, sadly. I do have a custom of the Mood Springs one. This one is not real. Some were made, though. Quite a few, I wouldn't say quite a few, but you know, in the you know scheme of cancel cars, I'd say five to 10 is quite a few. This is a custom from Jim Scavenger, and the toolbox for N2O Cola is also a custom, but the pity itself, as you can see, he's been through quite a bit. This is a real deal canceled prototype from Mattel. And he is kind of dark, I don't know, he's kind of showing up dark on the camera, but this guy's awesome. I did review him last year, and the link to that video will be in the description below. Great, great car here, I love him. Moving now on to 2010, like I said, it was the ginormous year for canceled cars. We got Final Lab Benny Caliper, who was canceled. Very, very sad, you know, another one of those characters from the Meet the Cars books that we would love to have. Same thing with Bertha Butter's Wagon here, that car that Mac encounters on the highway. 
Benny, by the way, was in the drive-in movie theater. Another final lap car that got the shaft. Those are the two final lap ones that I have, and they're some of the last ones that Mattel actually hasn't released, yet they canceled in 2010. For example, they also canceled Dan Sparkenberg, Wilmer Flats, Kit Revster, and I believe one more, but those were eventually uncanceled and released. Speaking of uncanceled, Kabuto with Flames was canceled as a deluxe in 2010. He was shown in this collector guide here. I don't know why he was a mega size because he's such a small car, but yep, there he is, Kabuto with Flames. Kind of a boring release, but at least they did change the expression or they intended to because when they uncanceled him and released him in 2013 in a three pack, he had the basic expression like you just saw there. This prototype version has a expression looking off to the right, which is actually pretty cool. Moving on to one of my favorite and most recently acquired canceled cars from a fellow collector. You got the Easy Idol Crew Chief here. This guy was supposed to be released in a Target exclusive multi-pack along with three of the Easy Idol Pities. Very, very nice. I love this guy. Now one of those pities was not this guy. This guy was actually supposed to be released in that hauler team set. You guys remember, or maybe you don't, but there was always these sets that had the racer, a pity, and then a hauler, a full on hauler, but the pity never had the tool gun. The version that was in the team set I was talking about would be the same shape as this guy, but he'd have a tool gun. And that version was canceled as well, sadly. And don't forget though, there was that Easy Idol Pity in 2009 that did get a release. Closing up for 2010 here, or we do have a couple more. This is Daredevil Lightning McQueen with Flames. Yet another deluxe from the Toon series that got canceled. I'd have to say, I'd you know, argue that this is probably the most popular or iconic canceled car ever. I don't know why it just became that way because it's Lightning McQueen. It's one of the very few Lightning McQueens that have ever been canceled. Now this version right here has a different expression, but as you can see, mine is pretty beat up. Guy from a fellow collector who let their kid play with it. Oh, why, 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 why? I guess at the time they didn't know it was going to be a canceled car, but we're still holding on. We got one flame, two rockets. We can, we can still make it, we can still do it. I got it for cheap anyway, so I'm not too concerned. Here we have the Metallic the King. A lot of people don't realize that the fixed eyes version of Metallic King was canceled. It was in that transition stage when they switched from lenticular to fixed eyes in which they then released, you know, Daryl Cartrip, DJ, and Red Ramon, all chase pieces with metallic finishes, but they did not have lenticular eyes, whereas this guy got this shaft, unfortunately. I think maybe he was actually at the end of the line for lenticular, so that's what happened. But quite a few were made, so this is probably the easiest canceled car to come by. Still not easy, but the easiest in relative terms. Here we have one of my favorite pieces ever, the canceled Fiber Fuel Semi from 2010. He was supposed to be released with a trailer, shown at the Peterson Museum, along with a bunch of other canceled haulers. I do have a custom trailer from Jim Scavenger though. It fits perfectly with this guy, perfect color. Up next, we have the Easy Idol Semi, same type of deal. This is probably my favorite canceled car to have ever, I think. Maybe. I love this guy. Not many people have him. I do know one person, though. Same thing with this Gasparin Semi, although this guy was closer to being released since he was shown on the back of a package of one of the previous haulers. I love his expression, too. He looks hardcore, like he's really going to town on something, or he's trying to get... Floyd Moby Hill to the next race as quick as possible. I love that. And I don't have the trailers for any of those, but I do have the trailer for Retread here. And yet I don't have the semi for them. So a lot of these came in bits and pieces, just kind of how it worked out. But again, one of my absolute favorites. Coming up on the one year anniversary of me getting this guy, actually. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't want to open them up. I mean, I guess I could. Maybe, yeah, we'll do it. Oh, I hate that sound. But yeah, you can see inside there. 
beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Now this Apple semi cab is kind of a debate. Not many people know if he was like canceled or if it was just like a backdoor factory type run where they made a few of these and it wasn't official from Mattel. So that's why I take this with a grain of salt. I do want to include this because I think it's you know an awesome piece for sure. Missing a mud flap there. But yeah, just take that with a grain of salt. Maybe canceled, probably not though. I'd say this is more of a factory custom though. All right, moving on now to 2011. So we got Silver Rip Kwajgonski here apart, or actually maybe this was more 2012 to be completely honest with you, but yeah, 2012 for the Kmart Collectors events, there was supposed to be a silver rip, but the last minute they decided to make it metallic, so it was more of a gold color. Quite a few of these were made, but most of them are a little damaged or have some parts that are still orange, like, some parts have this part orange or the helmet still orange. You can see mine has a little bit of wear and tear on the World Grand Prix decal on the spoiler. Still amazing though to have. Love this guy. Probably one of the most boring canceled cars is this Tokyo Security Guard for the World Grand Prix. Still a nice one though. He's a big chunk of metal for sure. I remember this guy came on eBay. I'd say in like... 2013, yeah, 2013 he was on eBay from China and I bought one but then I got canceled so I ended up getting it last year for like a couple hundred dollars. So yeah, when you see these, you gotta pounce because 10 times, I'm gonna say 10 times out of 10 times, it's going to go up in price the next time you see them. All right, who do we go to next? Um, I guess there was a big jump or at least I don't have any of the ones from you know, 2012 to 14 or 15 like that. So we're actually, yeah, we're going to switch it up here and go with these race fans that were supposed to come out in 2015 in Target exclusive multi-packs. You got Max Schnell's fan, a Mini Cooper, and Raul Cerule's fan, a 2002 BMW. I don't know why, they actually canceled two 2002 BMWs. We're gonna to get to the next one in a moment here. But yeah, these guys I got from China on eBay. A couple of them were leaked out. The Mini Cooper is easier to get than the BMW. Both are just absolutely amazing though. I love that expression on that Mini Cooper. And both of these do appear in a Porta Corsa. Porta Corso? Porta Corsa? I don't know. I always get the endings mixed up on that. So yeah, those are 2015. These two, these two cameramen, the BMW and this Fiat cameraman were also supposed to be in a Target multi-pack. This time though, a seven pack that also was supposed to include a brand new pink Scion Nigel Gearsley fan. So yeah, these two are pretty cool for sure. Again, some of the more easier cars to get just because there has been like a decent amount of them that have shown up in the past couple years. I'd say about 20 of each of these exist, maybe a little more. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not much, but in the scheme of canceled cars, it is at the end of the spectrum. So, I think that's it for 2015. I guess we could, I don't know, yeah, move on to 2016. These are the only two from 2016 that were canceled. They were supposed to be in the same deluxe case. In fact, you have Super Chase Miles Axelrod Outback. I was about to say Wild Miles Axelrod, but that was the one that was actually released. This is just Outback Miles Axrod before he got all beat up and you know, I don't know, what's the word for it? Just kind of distraught, lost his fuel out there and he almost died basically the way they presented it. So this is before his expedition and his expression matches the movie point, like it's on point for sure. And here is Mater with Cone Teeth that was supposed to be in the 2016 Radiator Spring Series as another deluxe. But they canceled the whole case, sadly, so unfortunately, both of these went along the wayside. Mater with Cone Teeth is another one of my favorite canceled cars. Just because he's Mater with Cone Teeth, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. He just looks so silly. And he is from Mater in the Ghost Light, which is also kind of cool that they are, you know, dipping into a tune like that. They're not really a tune, but a short to make some more cars. I do think, though, he will be released this upcoming year from Thailand. This one is made in China, which will still make mine valuable, but yeah. 
Fear not, this guy should probably be released in the near future. Moving on to 2017, we got a whole bunch to talk about here. This is another reporter, Kevin O'Brien. He was supposed to be in the, I think, yeah, there was like a reporter's line for World Grand Prix, World Grand Prix reporters. I love this guy. He's so underrated. I just love that expression too. Same thing with Amara Revsk. Another reporter. Mine's a little broken, but I did get it for free. <laughs> I got this guy for free because of the fact that the wheels are so messed up in the back. You can see that. But I keep her or him displayed, so it doesn't really matter to me too much. Like, yeah, you can hear that the axle's all messed up. Also, from 2017, you have this old-fashioned two-tone coupe. Don't know his name, but it might be Nikki B. And Nikki B was that yellow one that they revealed a while back, but also got canceled. But my theory is that they're actually the same thing, and that was just like a prototype picture for this guy that they miscolored. I don't know. That's just my thought because Nikki B actually doesn't appear in the movie. This guy does though. Also from 2017, we have the Flames cars. Miguel Camino and Shoe to the Roki with Flames. So yeah, awesome cars here. I love the expression on both, especially Miguel. I remember Miguel was sold for $9 from China back in early 2017 and actually late 2016. But I passed because I thought he was going to get released. One of the biggest regrets ever because I spent like upwards of $300 to try and get him again. There is actually a variant for Shoe with Flames here where he has the normal expression. So I guess this is kind of like where they were testing to see which expression would be best. And thankfully, I think they were going to release this one here that had the more startled, surprised expression. Man, I'm making a mess here. I got cars everywhere. From the London Chase series, or what was supposed to be the London Chase series, J. Kirby Gremlin with a weapon. Now, one interesting thing about him is that the color on him is so different from the normal version. Such a kind of like more of a burgundy than a purple. And they also reworked his entire bumper to fit with that expression there. So I love this guy as well. Obviously, probably not the most exciting car, but still very, very cool. Something that would have been super easy for Mattel to release. Same thing with this funny face Mater from Mater Gets Knighted, the series that never was, where Mater is trying to make Sergeant High Gear flinch with his funny faces. And you can kind of tell that this is a prototype. Well, all these are prototypes, but emphasized here in the fact that his headlight's not painted in. Another one that I saw on eBay from China that I never got. Thankfully, by the time Shu Todoroki with Flames showed up on eBay from China, I got him. Acer with Torch with movable visor as well. Of course, you guys know that Acer with Torch did get released in 2011 or 12, whatever, but the visor did not move. It was just attached to his front and never went up and down. He also has a different expression here. So another kind of interesting one, we don't know how this guy would have been released in a series, maybe a super chase, who knows, but yeah, he might have actually fit in the London chase series, because you know Mattel, they throw cars in series that they don't belong in. And we're getting to the end of the line here, two of my favorites, Eric Wheelie here from the yacht in Porta Corza. This guy was probably supposed to be released in like the race fan series, most likely, I love, I just love the red Jaguar and he's got those sunglasses on, which I think would have been painted black because it just seems like they're reading glasses since they aren't like shaded or anything like that. But yeah, you can see Jaguar. Now most of these 2017 ones were canceled because of Cars 3, which is sad. I mean, Cars 3 brought a lot of cool cars, but I think some of these would have been better. And I think this is our last one, Christina Carcia, a canceled Piston Cup race fan from Cars 1, also supposed to be in the race fan series, or she was, or he was supposed to be in the Cars 2 version, like the World Grand Prix race fans, and she was supposed to be in like the Piston Cup race fans, and you know, 2017, they really kind of divided everything up into movie segments, but really they're all just race fans, let's be honest here. I really don't know many of these to exist. I know my friend Flo, Flo, Faux Wheel Drive 7 has one. And his is actually in the package, which is just remarkable. 
And then there's mine, and that's all I know about. Very small car, like if you compare them to, you know, a normal sized car, like let's say Acer here or Mater, let's pull out Mater, since more people have Mater. Yeah, she is super duper small. But that is pretty much it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. As we close up here, I do want to just talk about a few more things that you guys may have, you know, raised your eyebrows at. You're like, where's Max Akar? Max Akar was shoe to the Rokies fan from that four pack, but it was released. It was released in Europe. So technically it's not canceled. Just maybe canceled for the United States though. You know, it kind of makes sense though. Like this guy was in the four pack. He was the last four pack to just make it somewhere. Whereas then these two never made it in the package at all. So you can kind of see the, you know, how it was tracked. They're like, all right, we're going to cut down it each time more. Hopefully that makes sense. But if not, send me a question. There's also a bunch of canceled planes like Nick Loop and Lopez here. I probably might do a video on all the canceled planes because there are a lot, although I barely have any of them. This is definitely my favorite though, and it would have been a great seller if Mattel actually released them. I mean, this guy's absolutely amazing. And lastly, I do want to show off these two Autobahn Society cars. These two are most likely prototypes for the 2016 releases of the Autobahn Society, but they do match the ones that were shown at the Peterson Museum back in 2010. Those ones were like officially canceled and then they were uncanceled in 2016. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. That was just a lot of information I know I flooded you with, but hopefully everything made sense and you still enjoyed the video. A lot of people did want me to do this, so that's why I thought why not just kind of do a video on all these because I love them so much anyway. They deserve a little bit of time in the spotlight. So let me know in the comment section below which canceled car is your favorite. It doesn't have to be one that I have, just any that you know of, any on the list, or maybe if you know of a canceled car that I don't have on the list, please tell us, we wanna know. And yeah, I definitely have a lot of videos planned for the upcoming weeks here. Just been a little slow, been really trying to you know work on school stuff, so hopefully you guys understand that. Three videos a week is usually my goal, and hopefully I can stick to that. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.